Hello guys, it's Tremast100 here today. I have a background on box. We have uh, Heos Pandox Ultra. Uh, this is actually in its native attribute. You can tell that by the fact that it doesn't have Heos in front of its name. Um, so yeah, it should probably be kind of obvious by now though, but just pointing out just uh, just in case, you know. But yeah, I um, guess we'll just kind of open it up, see what that's all about. I actually... Uh, I, I really like this design. I, I put it down too quickly. I don't know. This design just looks really, really cool. So I am actually really excited to get this thing opened up. All right. So now we have everything out of the box. So we have two cores. Here is the first one. And this will give you a plus 400B power. But only if you're Heos or Ventus. And then here's the other one, and this one is just minus 100 B power. Now we get to the character card, Pandox Ultra. This thing is kind of powerful. It has 700 B power and uh, 2 damage. Power creep? Question mark. I don't know. I don't think I've seen a Bakugan with 700 base B power. I could be wrong uh, with saying power creep, but I don't know. That seems a little bit powerful to me. Uh, next up, we have the ability card, Confuse. I've been getting a lot of flip cards recently. But uh, this thing will stop a lock on holding one of these uh, cores here. That's cool. Sorry, I'm just trying to like refocus my camera after that. There we go. Um... Yeah, sorry, that took like a half hour. This camera, why is it so specific? Um, anyway. The Bakugan itself. Looks really cool outside. Um, in ball form. A lot of cool designs going on. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Kind of just falls over. I mean, it does open up on its head, so, or like a the back of its head, so it would make sense. Uh, here it is. Doesn't really have any manual parts now. Okay. Um, yeah, looks cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is actually its native attribute, so Heos is its uh, correct attribute. Looks very cool. I mean, definitely kind of looks like an angry panda sort of thing going on. Um, yeah, overall, really cool. One thing I do have to mention about Bakran I've noticed is these little back parts. Like, I don't know. They're on ultras. I don't know how much I like them. Um, they just look kind of weird. Some designs they work. This one, I think, works fine. But it still just kind of seems weird. Like, there's just a giant half sphere almost um, on its back. Like, okay. Um, I don't know about that one. So, I don't know. Some of these designs are kind of off to me. I don't know. Is that just me? Does anyone else feel like that too? But, like, yeah. Overall, I think it looks really cool, but I feel like that just looks kind of weird. It looks weird in other Bakugan too, but uh, a lot of the newer ones especially. But, yeah, let me know what you think about that. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.